This is for the area where the last mammoth actually survived on the mainland of Siberia. We had to go do with the regional airplanes to uh, to Krasnoyarsk and then to a small village out of the tundra called uh, Katanga that is totally uh, out of nowhere with no roads, no trains whatsoever. And uh, from Katanga, the only uh, possibility to go out where we have the geology is to go by helicopter. So we charter Russian Mi-8 helicopters that lift us for one or two hours of travel out on the tundra. We mainly go with our small zodiacs on rivers and then when we can see that the river has exposed the sediments we stop, we build up a base camp and then we stay there for a few days we produce sediments, and those sediments, that is what I am investigating. We also take a lot of different samples on the sediments, and this study that aims at uh, trying to understand the vegetation of the, what we call the mammoth step, we take a very dense sample scheme, and then we take out the samples for dating, but we also can analyze the sediments to their content of DNA, what we call ancient DNA. The climate totally changed and is also in the Arctic. So we went into a more humid, it was a wetter and a warmer climate. And what then happened is a total change in the vegetation. And that, I think, was what actually killed off the mammoths, the rhinoceros and so on.